Do y'all hear that? I'm in a residential neighborhood. I want you to tell me what purpose does a rooster have to be in a residential neighborhood? I don't understand that one and I'm just glad that they're not my neighbors. It's bad enough that where I live, I'm sorry, the apartment that I'm um, staying in from time to time right now, it's bad enough that I hear a faint rooster. But the fact that this house that I just came from, they have neighbors across the street from them that have a rooster. Can you believe that? What the? Yeah, WTF moment. Major, major, they are in major violation. <laughs> I'ma have to provide y'all some footage of a house I went to. And they actually had a rooster chilling on the back. I'm still trying to figure out like why roosters like to be posted, you know, on, on top of things, like why they like to be posted up there. But um, I wish I could get a view of this rooster that I just heard. I mean, like seriously, really, for real? I really, I would like to knock on their door and interview them and ask them some questions about why they have a rooster and, you know, because it's not like, okay, let me see, what time is it? What time is it? The time is 6.36. And I guess this is going to show my ignorance for roosters and their purpose. But I just thought that roosters, you know, did their cock a doodle do like early in the morning and that was it. I didn't know they did it throughout the day, but I guess it's just, I guess it's similar to a chicken clucking. Like, you know, they can't help it. But to hear that thing, to hear that thing going off all day, like, wouldn't they get annoying? And then for it to wake you up at like four or five, six o'clock in the morning, whenever they decide to do it, I don't know. Help me. Give me some feedback. I just, I just need some feedback on this one. I guess I could Wikipedia it, you know, since that's like the online encyclopedia. But anyway, I just felt the need to like uh, give y'all some San Antonio exposure, let y'all know what I go into on a daily. Um, I just kind of did something I wasn't supposed to do. And it was this house, it was gated. And um, I opened the gate because this is an immediate cash house, which means when I get home, I'm getting paid for this one. So. Because a brother needs gas money, a brother gonna open the gate. You know, I had to do my dog patrol. I had to use my dog senses. And it's like, you know a person has a dog if when you go up to the gate, the dog just immediately comes to the gates and starts barking. So I was standing there for a good minute trying to figure out if I could like wave somebody down, you know, so they could come and open the gate, but all the blinds were closed. No dog came up. So, you know, I slowly opened the gate and I prayed and I walked in and I proceeded to do my little measurements and now I'm good. So, whoo, that rooster just set off an emotion in me. I'm glad I'm not their neighbors. I love animals and I love roosters, but when you have them as pets and they live right across the street from you, mm -mm, say it ain't so, just say no. <laughs> but keep living, laughing and loving and smiling and laughing at yourself. <laughs> On to the next house. Bye-bye.